Welcome to another episode of DIY Chevy Bill 813. Um, today, I was supposed to be sandblasting the car. Let's take you guys around to the car. Supposed to be sandblasting. I was gonna take all this stuff off. Um, I went. took everything out I was going to hit the firewall and I was going to smooth that out um, get rid of the AC box and this little door piece right here these holes I was going to cover up because I was going to put the holes on this side because we're going with vintage air these two are for for the throttle debating what i want to do with that piece for the that's for the um, antenna this is for the brake booster still we're going with painless i think i told you guys that already we're going with painless you know, that's where the steering column go. That was some wires, but I will keep that one just in case and I'll keep this one. So if I need to run wires through, I have little holes, but these are the areas I'm concerned about. Right here is real rusty right here. So I'll see even better when I get done sandblasting. And this area, I got a little hole it's a little spot right here, right here. And then I don't know, right here. I don't know if that's welded through, but we'll we'll take care of all that. But other than that, everything else looks pretty good. I was looking inside here. I got to still vacuum out inside, inside here. Inside, this is basically just the same little areas but we're gonna hit all this take care of all that um knock out all that take all this rock i said take all that rhino liner up take care of this i gotta still remove the um window motor and regulator and the wires for the back on both sides and just for the passenger side that door i'm keeping this door I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I wanna just change the skin because with this door, it was beat and they just had bundo um, to make it look like it was still good. But what I was going to do was, I have this door right here. I have this door right here, it's for a 75. Not in bad shape, but it got a little rust at the bottom. So I was just gonna use these those two doors and you know make one nice door and then i still have another shell with this one but the thing i don't like about this one is i'm thinking about taking the skin even if i could take the skin off of this the white one and put it on this one because this one someone deleted the um they shaved the door handles but all the back and the sides of it is still good but the only reason i don't want to use that skin because I have remote mirrors on passenger side. I know they might be, oh, it's easy to drill holes. I don't want to do that. I just want everything to be good and line up. And so if I could take that skin off the front of this and put it on that door in the back and just toss that door because, I mean, it's beat the crap. Um, that would be perfect. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to be sandblasting this. This is got the sandblaster back there. Um, I rented it you know, a big one. That's the air compressor with the sandblaster. Instead of playing with, where's my little Harbor Freight one? It's back here. This little Harbor Freight one, I mean, it's nice for small stuff, but doing this whole car, I just want to get something in, well, I, a couple hours I'm done. But the thing is, when I rented that, they, they um forgot to put a piece in. So that threw me off for Friday. Because by the time I realized it, they was already closed. Got it Saturday. Put it together. Saturday, they closed at 12. So 
Um, got everything together. Then found out one of my hoses had um, the gasket was missing out of it. So when they brought me that, it was already like 4.30, almost five o'clock. And with the time change here in Florida, it's dark, you know, it's already basically almost dark by then. So, and then today I'm not gonna rush. So what I'm gonna do is they know, they see the time meter on their, on their equipment, know I didn't use it. I'm gonna just reschedule it for next weekend. But if anyone see any parts, I'm gonna keep, like this is my header panel, I'm keeping this. Um, my steering column I'm keeping, but if anyone needing these AC parts, um, let me know or they will be going in the trash next week. So, I mean, really looking good. Really looking good. So I wanna, like I say, all everything's gonna be in epoxy primer. Um, everything will be in epoxy primer. We, like I said, it's gonna be white. And then after that, we'll do a little bit more body work. Um, go with a, um, a regular primer, do a lot of sanding and blocking to get the body straight. And then we will, you know, go ahead to the paint stage. So I'm just giving you guys a little update because I know a couple of videos go, oh, I'm sandblasting, I'm sandblasting. It's not that I'm not doing it. It's just, it's always, it's always something. And like I say, I'm not down in the company because they did come out. They had an after hour person do um, did come out, but that didn't help me out at all with the time and all the time that I lost to get the job done. And we will, well, I will be doing a video with me because I'm doing the bottom of this car too, where the car will be flipped up on this side. It's, I'm, it's called, I think it's called a, a tip jig. I'm gonna try to do that. I'm kind of iffy about it, but I'm not 100% sure, but I am gonna try to do a, a, a tip over jig where I can tip it up over on the side. I can hit the bottom of the car. I can hit the bottom with the epoxy. Um, it's little pieces where when we did the floor pan, you can see where it wasn't cut. So I need to cut those pieces out, seal it, and make that look right. Cause that does that look crazy how that is right now. So that's another reason why I wanna go up under and do some more of that. That's when they when we did the floor pans. So I wanna get all that taken care of and sealed and looking, you know, looking uniform and looking proper. All right, guys, this was another episode of DIY Chevy Bill 813. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully by next week, <laughs> after I'm done, the car will be in uh, epoxy primer. And one last thing, we are doing Tamco everything. So everything on the car is going to be a Tamco product. The epoxy primer that I'm using is a um, direct to anything. And the primer is going to be um, Tamco High Bill, even the paint. Everything's coming from Tamco. All right, guys. You guys have a good one.